Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, in the last part of the video, we have learned how to calculate loads for the solar structure and how to apply it in the software. However, manually apply these loads point to point can be quite tedious and time consuming, especially for large scale models. Additionally, errors might happen when doing this by hand. In this video, we will explore a more efficient approach to apply these loads with just one click using load tables. To achieve this, I have developed an Excel spreadsheet with VBA macros that generates similar kind of load tables that what software needs as an input, like here for Midas Gen. With this method, all calculated loads are accurately applied to their respective locations with just a single click. To use this spreadsheet, we will need to provide some input related to our model such as node coordinates and element number data, which can be easily copied and pasted from Midas Gen generated tables into the appropriate sheets. We will also need to provide information about the elements to be loaded again using tables. We will explore all of this later in this video. So let's go into the magic Excel sheet. Before getting started, if you are new to our channel, then please hit like and subscribe button and share as well with your friends. And let's learn structural engineering together. One more thing, we have already started design courses related to reinforced concrete structures and steel structures along with the steel connection design. If you did not watch those videos, then please go and watch those. Links of these videos I am sharing in the description below. So let's get started. So go to this sheet and frame loads for Midas Gen. Okay, now let's uh, first remove the all these data except first line. Now these are the loads similar. These are the same loads, single load for win loads of all the load cases. And these for the dead loads, double and single. The wind loads are only single. We will double it here. Now, what we uh, now what we have to do is that there is a table here which shows the element, load joint type, absolute intermediate distance, local axis of beam for wind, up or down local axis Midas self-weight load and all these four loads and element length in the Midas gen okay so what we are doing is that we will generate the loads all the loads in the tabular format and this table is having the same format as in the Midas gen frame load tables is just go to the Midas and go to the loads tab element tab and if we click here the three dots so there is a table here the table opens of this kind which means that all the loads are here beam loads not the nodal loads is beam loads because we are applied the beam loads only okay because we have applied the beam loads not the nodal loads nodal load table is the other one this is the beam load table so these loads that have been applied are actually present in the tabular form here so what we will do today we will make a similar table like that in which all the loads that are to be calculated here will be transformed in that table and this table will be imported in Midas Gen in a single copy paste command. So all the loads will be imported to the software in few minutes. There is a way to do so. So let's go to the help button. So here there are two different types load joint 
type detail when even number of panels along the slope because we can have the even number of panels along the slope or we can have the odd numbers for example in our case we are having three rows in the slope direction which means that we are having the odd number but what if we have the four rows so there are the two different scenarios okay so for our case the odd number we will see this thing so what it says this is the center line marked okay and there is a upper line and there is a lower line so first see these are the Perlin segments the segment one below this blue line below this lower line the segment two between these lines and the segment three above the upper line because normally we are having the cantilever for uh, uh, we are having the cantilever in the purlin so segment one and segment three is the cantilever part and the segment two is the supported part or the intermediate part now the center line is same the upper region the center line is same which divides the upper and the lower region means windward and leeward regions respectively so here is the legend green one are the purlins purple or the violet line violet line are the main beams these one are the solar panels this is the center line along the slope red dots are the interior load points and blue dots are the exterior load points now upper region is the area on the upper side from the center line and the lower region area on the lower side from the center line now there are some notations u1 means exterior load points on the upper region means at the end of the segment 3 this is a segment 3 only because it is being braked in the software that we have seen let's say this one okay these are all the upper regions so exterior load point on the upper region similarly so we uh, ex so exterior load point on the upper region at the end of the segment 3 is u1 similarly on the lower one similarly on the lower side l1 exterior load point on the lower region at the start of the segment 1 as we have already discussed it because we have applied the loads on this at ith node and on this at jth node okay now u2 u2 means interior load points on the upper region and l2 means interior load points on the lower region on segment 2 a b c d these are the distances from the reference beam line okay these are the reference beam line this is the reference beam line a distance for first interior load point b distance for second interior load point and third and fourth and so and so forth so likewise we have calculated in the we have marked in the cat so this is a this is b and so and so forth now l1 is to be approximately at start of segment one of the purlin because it is not exactly at the start we can see that but we can make the approximation u similarly u1 is approximately at the end of the segment 3 so these are the notations so let's go back now element number what is the element number in every software in every finite element software there are some node numbers and there are some element numbers as well so in Midas gen to display the node numbers we can click on here display node numbers and element numbers display element numbers element numbers are written here in the mid of each element so we have to write element numbers here similarly load joint type load joint type means l1 l2 u1 u2 this one okay absolute intermediate distance now local axis of beam remember when we were applying the wind loads 
सो वी विल अप्लाई वी हैव अप्लाई द विल लोड्स इन द लोकल जेड डायरेक्शन लोकल जेड डायरेक्शन सो विंड डायरेक्शन इज लोकल जेड स्मॉल जेड अप और डाउन सो लोकल जेड डायरेक्शन इज अपवर्ड ओके सो प्लस वन एंड इफ लोकल जेड डायरेक्शन इज डाउनवर्ड बिकॉज इन सम केसेज इट इज टू बी डाउनवर्ड सो मीन्स माइनस वन ना लोकल लोकल एक्स इज माइनस लोकल जेड ओके द डेटा इन ब्लैक विच इज टू बी इनपुट बाय द यूजर इन द data in red are the formulated values okay now let's plug in the element numbers element number 28 33 38 43 48 53 and so and so forth now first first we have to delete the existing current loads except self it just delete it delete it delete delete and delete okay now let's note down the element numbers for example for this one let's say this 27 32 37 and so and so forth so just note down in a copy so we have listed down these low load points first and we know that these are for l1 only because in cat you can see that these are for l1 only and there is no other load point in this in the vicinity of this segment so l1 l1 here and just copy it for the rest now the upper one 28 33 38 43 48 now these are u1 now the intermediate okay so we have plugged in all now the intermediate are having two the intermediate segment is having two load points first u2 and second u1 so just copy again and paste l2 okay now the distance now before applying the before plugged in the absolute intermediate distance will have to go to the node table control a delete node supply table control a delete node element table control a delete and in the midas gen just go to the work step double click on the nodes just go to the tree menu in the tables structure table nodes table these are the nodes table just uh, click here right click copy all paste it over here okay remember the unit is in millimeters now similarly go to the elements select copy all element support table paste it over here now for this table now this table is uh, having some extra columns which we, which we do not need so you just copy column a elements node 1 sorry just copy column a elements column b type and column i node 1 and column j node 2 just copy it 
go to the elements table and click on a1 and control v okay now just go to the frame loads sheet now cross check the element length in midas gen element number 27 is having 789 mm length so just go to the minus gen f4 789 similarly 24 is having 1577 24 24 is having 1577 okay so which means that sheet is working correctly now for l1 l1 means lower and lower means starting starting point so starting point is zero so all l1 is having zero intermediate distance upper means last one so last segment length is what this one 789 so plugged in 789 in the u1 only okay now for u2 we have calculated the distances which is this is l2 l2 means lower because this one is lying on the lower region so this is l2 263 and u2 1314 1314 u2 and 263 L2 now Z1 and local Z are same ok now just uh, click on this button now this will convert all the loads in the table of having same format okay just we need to copy the beam load it is copied in the clipboard just go to the Midas table beam load table click here and just paste it now we can see that all the loads are being applied 